Hey guys, I do myself here. Very exciting news, very interesting day today. Apple has made it official. This is the event that we've all been waiting for. This is for iPhone 12. Apple has sent out invitations today. October the 13th is when Apple will be holding their event directly from Apple Park at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about expected products, break down the event invitation. As we know, Apple hides clues on some of their invitations. We'll break that down as well. And we're also going to be talking about where can you watch this event. So let's start out with where can we watch it. Now, on October the 13th at 10 a.m. Pacific time here U.S., if you head on over to YouTube, links will be in the description. Apple already has a placeholder to live stream the event on YouTube. You can watch this anywhere across the world. So again, links will be in the description. There it is on Apple's YouTube channel. Now, I want to show you how to get this really cool Apple widget countdown here, which was tweeted out earlier this morning with one of Apple's executive. You guys have been asking how to get that. I'm going to show you here quickly how to get that. The application is called Days. Right there it is. And if you launch the application, you can use a wallpaper, select a title, select how many days until the event. Let me go ahead and click edit here and show you how to do it. So click edit and tap on the event, create an event uh, tag, create a date, go ahead and select the date, click save, and then you can add a widget to your home screen. And this will allow you to add the event to the home screen of your iPhone. So select the application, select the wallpaper, and there it is. You can add the widget to the home screen. If you're wondering about the wallpaper, the wallpaper was featured on the application that I used this week as a must-download. There it is, wallpaper of the day. Links will be in the description for that as well. So that is how to get the widget. I know a lot of you guys might ask about that one. There it is, seven days until Apple's event. So let's break down the event invitation. The first thing I want to talk about is the tagline with the invitation, which is high speed. So high speed can mean several things. Number one, of course, Apple every year makes their iPhones even faster. And this year's, of course, the iPhone 12 will be even more faster than the previous generation. And number two, there's rumored to be a LiDAR sensor built into the back of the iPhone with the new camera system built in. That is a super fast transmission speeds there. So that could be that as well. And or 5G could be coming to the next generation iPhone as well. So that's what I take away from the actual tagline with the invitation. But what about the invitation itself? What can we take away from this one? Number one, if you tap on the Apple icon, you get this AR animation that shows these circle orbs, which mimic a similar, very round design as the Apple Air tags that we saw leaked earlier this year. They sort of spread apart, revealing the date, October the 13th, and then they come right back in creating the logo once again. We see several colors here. We see orange, maybe a light red. We see the navy blue, which is a color that Apple introduced with the Apple Watch and it is rumored to be coming to the next generation iPhone. So this invitation can mean several things. Maybe the Apple Air Tags will be announced at this event. You see all the Air Tags scattered around and with the new high speed UI chip built into the iPhone, you can just see where everything is at a glance. Now the color blue, as I mentioned, is here on the top portion. That can mean the blue iPhone and a lighter red, I guess you can call it, is in the center, which could mean a product right iPhone 12 as well. We'll have to wait and see for that one. But also at this event, we can expect uh, several other products. There's rumored of a new HomePod and maybe a new HomePod mini, a smaller, cheaper alternative to HomePods. And Apple is also rumored to be announcing the new AirPods Studios, which is the new over the ear headphones that have been leaked as well. We've seen several renders of these as well. So hopefully we'll see all these products at this event. The HomePod, the HomePod minis. We may see the AirPods Studio. We also see all four iPhone 12s that are rumored to be coming this year, iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Pro, and iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, our pre-orders could most likely be uh, later during the week. So if Apple holds this event on October the 13th, pre-orders could be as early as October the 16th. That is for the iPhone 12 mini and the iPhone 12. Rumors of the iPhone 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max could be pushed back as a release date later in November. So we could see two new iPhones in October and the Pro models of the iPhones later in November. So just stick around for the dates. Those are not just solid as of yet. But yeah, that's everything pretty much that we can expect at this Apple event. A new iPhone maybe new HomePods and AirPods Studios could be announced at this event as well with new 5G capability iPhones in the pipeline. Maybe the Pro and Pro Max models will be featuring those new 5G speeds. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you think Apple will be announcing at this event? Are you excited? Will you be getting a new iPhone this year? Let me know in those comments down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.